I'm going to show you how to uh, work with the uh, contents of a zip file inside of Mathematica. So I've, I have this zip file called drawings.zip and this is in my videos folder. And notice that I'm in that videos folder here or I've set my directory to that videos folder in Mathematica. So I'm going to use the command extract archive to uh, unzip that file and it was called drawings.zip. And if your zip file contains a bunch of individual files, once it's unzipped, then you should maybe specify a directory to unzip them to. But in this case, it's just going to contain a single folder. And so it'll already be well organized when I extract this. So uh, let me show you. Okay, I, maybe that doesn't look so well organized, but if I go back to this, you can see that here it all got put into this drawings folder. So uh, that's good. I'll hide that by double clicking over here and let's get a list of all of the names in there. So let's look at file names okay, and what was it called? It was called drawings okay, and I'm not going to put the dot zip. I'm just putting the name of this folder and to get all of the file names, I'm going to precede that with the word all. And so this is a list of strings and the strings specify paths to the pictures inside this folder. And then there's also this one like Mac specialized folder. So let's first get rid of that. So uh, uh, let me call this uh, prelim because we're not going to use this eventually. And let me just take cases of everything inside of prelim. And this is going to be all x such that the string x contains dot png. Okay, so this is like getting all of the dot png files out of out of that original list. Okay, and let me call this files. So next, uh, let's look at this. So no notice that these have these very random names. What, I w what if I want to give them more natural names? Well, here's one way. I'm going to put the resulting like new files into a new directory. So I'm going to just create directory and uh, let's call it, let's just call it uh, new pictures. And, I guess since it's a string, there's no harm in having a capital N here. So uh, let's create that directory. And so how do I copy something like this into that new directory and give it a new name? Well, there's a function inside of Mathematica called copy file. And it takes two inputs. The first input is the path where I want to copy the file from. And the second input is a string saying, where do I want to copy it to? So first input is supposed to be, what do I want to copy? Second input is supposed to be, what's the result? So. Uh, Let me say, let me do this. This would be our first time using a do loop since I introduced them. So let me do this with a do loop. So remember do loops, they're like the Mathematica analog of for loops from MATLAB. And so for each file name X inside of files, okay, I want to copy the file from X and where do I want to copy it to? So uh, maybe let me change this a little bit. Let me do files double brackets i. And you'll see why in a second. For i from 1 to the length of the files list. So for example, there are 45, if I remember correctly, files inside of this. And so the i is going to go from 1 to 45. and for example, for the third file, what do I want to copy it to? Well, I want to copy it to this new pictures directory. 
and then let's just say like picture I. And so uh, do you see what the problem is with this? Well, one problem is that this I, okay, I'm thinking of it as a number, but it's inside a string. So Mathematica doesn't know to think of that as a number. Okay, just like you wouldn't want this I to turn into the number three. Mathematica also doesn't know to turn this I into a number three. So let me show you how this string join works. Okay, I could do like hello, and then how about the number seven? And let's see what happens. Okay, it didn't work. And what was the problem? Well, the error says a string was expected at position two. So I need to convert this into a string. Okay, now it worked. So uh, let's do that here. So I want to do string join of this new picture slash picture, and then to string i, and then dot png. And let's see, this bracket is closing up this string join, so I also need to close up the copy file bracket. And let's see if it works. Looks like it worked. So it should have for the first entry in files up to the 45th entry in files. It should have copied that. Okay, that's what this was doing into this new directory. So let's check. In my original drawings, I have these very random numbers. And here in new pictures, I have this nice like organized numbers. And th this is especially useful if, for example, say you're downloading the same file from a website many times, then you don't want it perhaps to overwrite the previous downloads. And so appending a number onto the end of the file name, like what I did here, can be really useful for that. 